Hello everybody. Tonight we're going to take a quick look at the Arcade 1UP Pac-Man stool that I just got here from uh, Home Shopping Network. They had a nice sale recently. I figured we'd do something a little different. Maybe open it up, do a little unboxing, maybe put it together and see how it measures up. Uh, it's supposed to be adjustable at two heights. And I'm hoping it comes up to a nice decent size for this uh, non-riser Arcade 1UP that I have here. I've never actually seen one at that lower height. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works out. Okay, so we are all unboxed. Uh, basically, all I did was cut the side of the box open, pull out the parts. Um, let's see if we can get this together. It doesn't seem too difficult uh, or too complicated. Um, looks like it just requires an Allen wrench, even though I have a screwdriver out. The thing I was talking about before was there is a option for adjusting the stool. There's a short stool and a tall. I'm assuming one is for a nine riser uh, cab and then this is for the one with the riser um, and as I said before it's a little taller than my current setup I have a $40 little um, ottoman storage unit thing whatever you want to call it with a pad that I can sit on to play over there that's about 15 and a little over inches um, this is I think it said 21 if I'm not mistaken it goes up to 29 so I'm obviously going to want the shorter stool um, variant here it looks like it's just a matter of putting these little extenders on here to raise it up. So I think for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go and take out the extenders. I'm not even going to put them on. I'm just going to put on the regular uh, short stool and see how it measures up. Um, the cushion here is pretty nice, actually. I'm kind of impressed. Um, this whole thing costs just under $40 on sale from Home Shopping Network this week. They also have the Centipede model. And uh, normally they go for about, I've seen anywhere between $50 and up to $80. And if I'm not mistaken, $80 were their normal price on HSN. Uh, I've never ordered from there before. I was actually pretty impressed. It came within the week. So, hey, so let's get this started. I'm going to open these up here. I need to just have everything out and in, in plain sight so that I can just go through the motions, put it all together. Uh, it looks like step one is we are going to be putting together these posts underneath the stool itself. Hopefully this won't be too boring for anybody, but I don't see too many videos on this kind of stuff on YouTube. And I've never put one together before, so I'm thinking maybe it'd be a little helpful. But I do like to kind of take my time sometimes. <clears throat> Although, in general, this doesn't look like it's too crazy. It looks like they just kind of sit flush like this and then screw it in, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Yeah. Are these Mark J? You know, I don't even see. It's obvious this must be the way it goes, right? So, what screws do we need here? We need so we have four E's. Let's just separate these guys real quick. And Looks like these are just going to go right on top of here and they're going to go over these screws holes and we're just going to pop them in but once again let me lay these out and we'll get the types so we've got four of these big boys four of these guys And seven, eight are the other ones. And it looks like, looks like we're going to be using these longer ones. One, two, three, four. These must be the E's right here. We're going to use these right here. Get them started in there.
not sure what the weight limit is offhand. Uh, we'll look in a second here. Let's see anything. I just see a lot of things about flames and fire on the side here of this thing. So it looks like these four screws are the main ones that go in to put the support legs on. Now, the thing is though, I'm not sure. It looks like it must want us to just tighten these on. Clean this. Align the legs, holes. Using the four long machine screws, circular and tightening pad. Seat pad for the legs. All right. Same size. Okay. I'm going to completely screw these in all the way at this. Alright. So that looks like that's all there is to this stuff here. And uh, so it looks like basically the bar just goes in under here now. Um, is that these? Let's see. Let's see. On the inside of the store legs, I show. I'll take these in the corner. That's side doing. Okay, we all yeah, we all do that, do we? All right. So this is why I didn't want to tighten them all the way, um, knowing that we're going to be putting this piece in here. You know, we want to have a little bit of leeway until we get it all in, so to speak. That's right. Look at that. So it looks like that lines up just like that. And we're going to do, it looks like we're coming in with C from the inside and D from the outside. That's a little bizarre. I mean, it looks like they're going to like this meet in the middle. It's a very interesting concept. Uh, so D on the outside and E on the inside. There it is. Oh, I see. Okay, so these are these are basically just gonna do one of these kind of things right here. They're gonna screw into each other from each and the other side. Okay, I get it. So let's push through here. And over here. Oh wait, yeah, no, I had it. So one of these up though is all right. So I think what we're going to do is let's pop these guys in first. That way we're not moving all over the place. All 
All right, there you go. So we've got those in each spot. And now we're going to come from the side. And we're going to start screwing them in. And I think that's the whole job. Oh wait, I see what I did. Duh! I already screwed this up. Wait a minute. It's because of my angle and my position. I want to go this way. There you go. Now wait a minute, before I do that, let's see. No, that one, yeah, I, I, I got these two backwards. Put it there. Because I'm the way I'm sitting here, I'm not paying attention on the other side. I did it from two of the four sides, and then the little guy's going the inside. Sorry, about that. a little mechanical dyslexia there. This happen again. And then once we get this all together to a point, we will then secure everything nice and tight. My accents. Kind of liking how this is looking so far though. The only reason I'm doing this on the rug, I didn't want really, I don't want this guy on the hardwood floor and getting scuffed up or something. This is a nice soft feeling. Okay, so let me get my Allen wrench out. And I think what we're going to do is, we're going to tighten these guys up first. Actually, you know what? Let's just tighten these up. These are already kind of tight anyway. But I highly recommend if you're doing this to um, leave these guys a little looser at first, just so you can get this, gives you a little more wiggle room to get this ring in. I kind of saw that coming just based on past experience putting this kind of you know, furniture together. A lot of times they don't tell you that in the directions. I mean, they may have here, but I'm not reading all that. This is pretty cut and dry, I think. I don't want to overdo it, but at the same time, I mean, if you're going to be sitting on this, you don't want it popping all over on you. You don't want to fall off it. Especially during a rigorous match of uh, Pac-Man or Donkey Kong. Sorry, I don't have any crazy music playing in the background. I apologize for that. Sometimes I don't like to hear all that music. I mean, people talk over it and try to talk over it, and then they have the music playing. Sometimes you can't even hear what they're saying. So, and I'm not all about clash and substance, I guess, <laughs> to that degree. I like to keep things simple. All right, so that's tight. I think I got this guy already. Let's just double check him. Nope, maybe not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get this together to this point. And I think what we'll do is we'll do a quick layover to the, the cabinet and see how the height works out. And let me fill with this one. Uh, just a 
dead angle. All right, there it goes. There's your arcade one up Pac Man stool. And uh, this is pretty solid, actually. So we're going to move over here to the cabinet and we're going to take a look and see how it matches up with the uh, without the riser. Now, I don't have the riser out, unfortunately, so I can't portray that aspect of it. But I see too many videos and pictures of, of these things with the full extension next to the rise risen riser variants. And I thought it'd be nice to be able to see it next to one without just to see what the, the size and the height difference will be. So uh, let's move that over now and give it a look. All right, so at the moment, this is the stool I'm currently using. Like I said, it's a $40 um, storage ottoman. It's not very big. It's only about 15 inches high, but it works really well. I'm able to keep my remote for the LEDs in there, my uh, keyboard, which is wireless, and just a simple wireless keyboard that I can go in and if I need to uh, mess around with RetroPie in this RK1 up cabinet. I can easily do so without taking the whole thing apart and doing everything else that comes along with that. Uh, like when you do the scraping for the uh, arcade games you may add and whatnot. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out and we're going to put it next to the other stool for now. And we're going to put the arcade one up stool in here and see how this looks. So let me just adjust some things real quick here. And uh, let's pan up and move over here. And come back a little bit and see how this looks it looks like it comes just up under the cabinet control deck here and I put this back here next to it so you can see it's a little bit lower um, so we're gonna see how it works out Now, let me see if we can have a seat here. Let's see about where it come up. It looks a little hot, even on the lower setting. So let's pan this up a little bit and see what we got. Use all this. And let's see if we can get some better height. So, my thing is, I don't want to be scrounging down and crunching, trenching down and getting all under there. So, let's see how this looks. too bad but I feel like I'm still leaning over and I'm not quite sure yet how I feel about it. So I think I'm going to feel that having this for the riser is going to be more beneficial than at this size of the cabinet. Um, I am liking the cushion. I think it feels pretty solid. Uh, by the way, the max weight for this looks to be about 290 pounds, according to the paper. I notice this at the bottom here. 290 pounds. So you big guys, you've got some options. Now, the one thing I was looking at was, I'm not going to probably add these on here just now, but the uh, extensions seem to be pretty easy to put on. Let's pan this down a little bit. The extensions seem to be fairly easy to put on. 
Um, basically, what is involved is you're going to remove these caps here, the, uh, the at the base here, the, for the grips of the stool. All right, and simple enough. There's a hole here, and there's another hole up under here, and you're just going to line them up like that. So, and you're going to take one of these four leftover screws, and you're just going to screw that in there. But you're essentially adding another seven inches of height to this. And let's see if I can give you an idea of what that's going to look like here. I mean, you can see the difference with those two. Um, that's not something I really need right now, obviously. Um, so my verdict overall is, just from doing a quick little sit down over here, that this stool is much more beneficial for somebody who has the riser at least for me um, I'm I mean I guess obviously it depends on your height uh, I'm six one so for me right now leaning on this and uh, sitting on this right now as is is a little too heightful for me um, I, I on this without the riser that is so let me see if I can get a better angle here and maybe I can give you an idea of what I'm going to look like sitting next to this. Okay, so I'm going to step over here a bit. This is where I'm at at the height right now. Um, as you can see, I mean, I'm up above this and you know, it's kind of like this leaning down. That's why I'm thinking, I mean, you, put, you go on the little thing, but if you really don't need it on, at this height, you're just going to want to put your feet on the ground. Uh, but if I want to load up some dessert here, for instance, um, I mean, it's acceptable, I guess. I mean, but I don't know if this would be my first option for a arcade one-up cabinet that doesn't have the riser. Um, ultimately, if I'm going to be up here, the riser adds an extra foot. So you're thinking maybe up here, so you're going to be doing, at this height even, if you raise this up with the riser, you may actually feel a little better even. So, um, initial thoughts, the, the stool itself is really nice. I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I think this is pretty cushiony. The floor's a little uneven here. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe the little things are. Um, but I would highly recommend this more for people who have a riser. Uh, for me, I'm probably going to just go back to my little ottoman, and eventually when I get a better place to put this that's got a little more room, I don't have like an arcade room, I mean this was a splurge uh, purchase to begin with, I mean, so uh, I'm happy to have it where it is, um, but eventually when I get a bigger place and I have more and more room to spread this stuff out, uh, the riser is probably going to come in, and then this will come in, and I can pop it up, and it'll be a little more beneficial, I think, overall. Uh, but in the meantime, if you have a arcade one up that does not have a riser and you're looking for an acceptable uh, seating option, um, I'm going to recommend something like what I have over here. Uh, especially if you have a, a RetroPie one, you can put a little extra things in there, um, like just your screwdrivers or, or keyboards or anything. It's a little more functional for, I think, this. And it allows you to get a little better of a height. Um, real quick, let me go swap them out and I can give you an idea of what it looks like uh, with this certain height. I mean, it, it's only a five inch difference. However, it puts me down here and it's, it's very comfortable. I mean, it's right here in my face and I got this cabin. I mean, normally I just kind of throw my legs to the side but uh, this is about 50, just a pair over 15 inches, about $40. And uh, it also blends into your decor a little better, especially if that's something you're, you're more focused on uh, than a Pac-Man stool in your living room. So uh, I think that's about all I have to say right now. Um, I can even leave a link to this. I don't get sponsored or anything. But basically, I have a, we have an, a, a bigger ottoman that we just rest our feet on over there. And one day I just pulled it over and I said, wow, that's like the perfect height. So uh, anyway. Uh, thanks for joining me, and I uh, hope this was a little bit educational. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I don't see too many videos about these stools, 
and in terms of height and everything. So I thought it'd be interesting to at least show off a little bit. And overall, the the uh, installation of this thing um, was pretty easy. Um, I think anybody could really do it. I mean, it kind of made them down for anybody. For now, I'll probably just maybe box it back up and put it in storage at the moment until I I just wanted to get it on this nice deal. It's definitely got a nice solid cushion. Um, whether it lasts, I don't know. People seem to have pretty decent luck with them, and pretty solid. I'm not, I'm pretty impressed. So anyway, thanks for joining me, and um, catch you guys some other time for hopefully another interesting video. Take care.